Hi, everybody. This is Peggy. I'm Laura. We are Urban Booze. Show me your t-shirt. Oh, Urban Booze. Woo yeah. I don't know if they saw it, though. <laughs> they can roll back. They can roll back. Well, today, ladies and gentlemen, it's our version of a battle. It's our versus battle, I guess. And the battle today is red versus red versus two lines. Connoisseur. Mm -hmm. I hope they saw that. Yeah, so, you know, we saw that. We, everybody else is doing the battle. Well, versus doing the battle. Let's do ours. So here we go. So um, it's red, and I'm actually starting to become a red girl, believe it or not. Oh, there you go. And uh, we thought we'd, we'd go back to someone that we just started with. And then we're going to give you some, some thoughts, our thoughts on it. Mm -hmm. so you can catch one of our earlier uh, reviews of True Wine Connoisseur. It was a red blend. Uh, right. Today is a Cabernet Sauvignon. We couldn't find a red blend. It wasn't the same one that we had before. It definitely was not the same one. I love that other one. And I am certain it was called Dead to the Head red exactly yep. exactly yeah but we'll see we'll see and okay so we'll tell mm -hmm. we'll let, let us let a sister know where what happened to that red blend but anyway you know um you know laura and i both talked about having steak mm -hmm. we was feeling quite beefy quite red meaty right so that's where the idea came up. And so look, right on time, 19 Crimes came out with, uh, with Snoop. Mm -hmm. And uh, so we both made our own dinners. And uh, so um, we're going to, so I did something with steak and uh, tremola sauce. See that? Take a look at that here. Okay. And then Laura did, what'd you do? I did, I think I had the true wines with some roti from up the street, some spicy, spicy roti from up the street. It was actually chicken. Oh. I wanted to do steak, but I drank it the first time with the chicken. And then I made a steak another time. No picture on the second time, because that was like a very rushed. All right, so what did you do with, what did you drink with the Cali Red? Um, Thai food, drunken noodles, spicy drunken noodles. Okay. All right. Well, I think with um, what I did with the True Wine Connoisseur, I did a lamb, mm. a pan seared lamb chop. So truly, you know, I try to stay in that, you know, I try to stay traditional. Normally I don't, but, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it, it's, well, I mean, you know how it is. We have these conversations and then it's like, you're going to make the steak. I'm going to make you were doing, you did your sauce. I was going to do a chimichurri. Right, right. Time to cook. It's like, I don't know, I'm hungry. What's for dinner? I'm not cooking anything. Go get me some Thai food and that's for dinner. And so now I'm having spicy Thai food, probably with chicken. It might have been with beef, but probably with chicken or shrimp. And yeah. I wine. And it still worked. Well, yeah. Well, with my steak with chamola, if you guys don't know what that is, that's a, a North African condiment that had uh, toasted cumin um, and coriander. Mm -hmm. uh, as well as uh, cilantro, lime, garlic, and it is amazing. Um, you can do it on beef, you can do it on fish. So I did it with that, with some, some garlic uh, potatoes. If you check us out on Instagram, you'll see a photo of that. And, uh, and I think I just did rice with uh, some sauteed vegetable. I think it was spinach, I believe, with uh, the true one. I wanted to keep the same flavor. keep the same flavor notes because I wanted to be able to compare it evenly, uh -huh. you know, so, you know, with the starch and the same type of vegetable. So, oh, and I, what I also want to say is that um, 19 crimes, the, uh, what's the price range, Laura? I think you could find it as low as... Well, but I, I've seen it for $10, $10.99, but true, um, 19 crimes has it on their site for $12.99, so okay. $13, but I like that I found it I've seen it at $10.99, $11.99, $12.99. That's all right in the Lauraville range. Right. There we go. There we go. And then uh, what was the price range? Because you got this for me. Because, I, again, I can't find nothing in Queens. 
That was 1099. This was 1099. Again, mm -hmm. right in our budget. This is mm -hmm. the pandemic budget, y'all. So this was. Here's the thing, though. We're trying to do get a table wine. What's going to sit on our tables that we know is going to work with our food? And 1099 fits in the budget. Exactly. It's in the budget. You know, you can do that. I could yeah. 699 if somebody could do something good like that. And then sometimes you want to splurge, spend $20, $30, you better be special. And, you know, some folks out there on, in our, on our Instagram world, they're drinking three or $400 bottles of wine. It better be so divine. I need to have an experience for 400. This is an experience. This you know is what you see, right? <laughs> on the last, so $400, you're going to take me out of my, you're going to take me out of Brooklyn? You're going to take me out of New York? I don't know where you're going to put me, but I'm going to be like all expanded when yeah. I get back. My experience, not only do you need to take me out of Queens, but I better have some damn good company. That's the kind of thing. Four hundred dollar bottle of wine. But uh, all right, uh, do you guys want to hear who won this battle? We're gonna know who won. And truck. And the winner is. Winner is. Can y'all hear it? Uh oh. <laughs> Okay. Don't, don't mind my singing. <laughs> this was a smooth, it's very, oh my gosh. Um, I'm going to say a smooth, rich flavor. I'm actually going to pour some. This is the funny, here's the, the interesting thing. You know me, I'll buy a bottle and I'll tell Peggy we should get a bottle and it's good. This is possibly the fourth bottle I've purchased. <laughs> But, but you know, that's the whole point. and it's good. It's smooth. You know, I like a reliable red. I know. Look at the color, y'all. Beautiful. It's got legs. You got legs. Mm -hmm. it oh. And it smells very fruity. Now, y'all know the smell thing sometimes doesn't work for me, but it's working for me with this red. And, uh, mm. It's spicy. Mm -hmm. It's 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 fruity. You know, you taste uh cherry, mm -hmm. black berries. You taste the berries, yeah. Yeah, no, you said you looked that up online because on the bottle it doesn't tell you enough about when I first tasted it, I tasted cherries, I tasted blackberries, and that's what on the 19 Crimes website says those are the flavor notes you're gonna hit. So it of course made me happy when it's like, ooh. I tasted them. I recognize them. because you, you hate <laughs> sitting there at a tasting and they say, Oh, what are you tasting? And it's like chalk. I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and they're like, Oh no, 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 it's not that, it's this. It's, it's like, oh, okay. And it's like, but you recognized it. Yeah. What's the spice? What is this cause there's a spicy note in it also? Is that pepper? What is that? Because there's a there's a bit of spiciness to it. There is a bit of spiciness to it. What I will say is I have it with spicy food and it complements the spicy food really well. I had a very spicy curry with it. And you know, a roti and you know, a roti wrap with chicken curry. I told them put, you know, bring the heat. This held up because that's the thing. Sometimes the wines don't hold up. Mm -hmm. they, they and, wash, you know, yeah. It washes it just doesn't taste right. Right. And then, so my strong flavor was the, the cumin, the coriander, the lemon, the garlic that I put on the steak and, and the saute spinach with the lemon. And it held up to the citric, uh, citric acid. And it, it really complimented it. it. It elevated the meal. It was, and I said, oh, I'll be buying another bottle of this. Mm -hmm. So um, you find this a lot of places, though, because it is 19 primes. Right. So you definitely be able to find it. In the hood, in the hood. Uh, I'm, hoping, I'm hoping. I was gonna say the supermarket, but we can't find it in our supermarkets, um, not yet. No. But I think I think my girl found it in the um, you know our our West Georgia correspondent found it at P at Publix or maybe it was Kroger. They have it there. Right, and not to leave out you know you know which was an old favorite. Now I, I have to say, True Wine, this kind of took your place on our. On our card, it did because it's not the same one. It's it would have been a tighter battle, I think, if we had the original the one we were drinking last year. 
because I don't believe this is the same one. Yeah, um, because I, last year, you know, we remember that it was a red blend. This is mm -hmm. a, a little more tannic. So it's dry. I can use tannins in the heat. <laughs> you know, I mean, it worked okay with my, with my lamb, but, you know, but my steak dinner with uh -huh. Kelly Red was really, really awesome. It didn't do a bad job. It's just that it didn't do better than Snoop. Than Snoop. It didn't do better, but we're going to get an honorable mention to... Oh, right, right, right. Right. Honorable mention to Mr. Big's Brachetto. Yeah. We love that. That, don't change the formula on us. Do not play with us. Okay, because we're going to have to hurt you if you do. We know where, we know where your shop is, and we're going to come up there. Don't play with us. The bricchetto is light and juicy and fruity. It is a good drinking wine. It's a good drinking wine, but I will say, all head red wine drinkers, you guys might not like it, um, because we were told that it was too sweet for someone who has been a long time red drinker. But mm -hmm. for me, who's, I'm just starting to appreciate you know, just a taste of a red wine. I loved it. I loved it. I, you know, I loved it too. You know, I, we can't keep up with it and they can, apparently can't keep it in stock either. So it's a good one. If y'all get a hold of it, if y'all, if you can order it, order it, get it delivered. But if you're going to run it down to the store, this will do you nice. Right, right. Because Mr. Biggs, you got to make a little effort. You got to go online, mrbiggs.com. And if you're in the Bronx or Westchester, you could find it near you. And in Harlem on 127. But Queens, you can't find it. Brooklyn, you can't find it. But, um, you know. You can deliver and you got to pay. It's, it's a whole thing. It's a whole thing. Or it's a thing, but a thing. Exactly, exactly. So guys, look, if you like what we had to say, you liked our reviews, you enjoy our banter, look, hit that notification button so you can see what we post weekly. Mm -hmm. And uh, we'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts? Did you try either one of those wines? Are you trying to figure out where to get Mr. Biggs? I think you should. It's worth, it's worth the effort. You just have to buy $60 worth for the free shipping. I just will put that out there. Right. If you want to try True Wines, you can find it. They have it. You know, you can look online and easily find where you can go to get it. This is going to be everywhere. It's oh, not yeah. too hard. You'll be able to get it and you'll be able to put it in your drawer. It'll always be there. Right. So until the next battle, uh, right now, Cali Red is holding the top spot. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, you know, we always have a lot to say. We, we, have, uh, we have our Twitter you know, where you can see, you know, a lot of the banter, you know, Laura kind of heads that up. We are on Instagram. You know, you can see what we both have to say, what we both try, what we both been shopping for, mm -hmm. outtakes on it. Of course, Facebook for the older crowd. Y'all catch up to Instagram eventually. And, and of course, as <laughs> always, YouTube. We've been doing this thing for about a year now. We've talked to some cool people. We've talked to Mr. Biggs. Mm -hmm. Wouldn't be great for us to talk to Snoop. Uh, talk to Snoop. Oh, and Mary J. Okay. I know, be still my heart. <laughs> but uh, we have we have really come across some really, really, really interesting, cool people. We've tried their wine. You know, we're trying to make sure we have a, a bar cart full of wines that we're just going to grab for our table. Right. For our table, when we're ready to eat, ready to have dinner, have a few people over, or have our, you know, we cook something nice for ourselves, we're going to know the right thing to go to. But guess what? We weren't sponsored. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> But we're open to it. Mm -hmm. 19 crimes and true wine connoisseurs mm -hmm. <laughs> and all the others out there. You know, so we're out there to try and give us our honest opinion. We're not experts, but what we're oh, experts we know what we like. We know what we like. We're experts in what we like. Uh, as you can tell, Laura and I have very different tastes, uh, you know, and we're going to give you our straight, honest opinion. So we hope that you continue to join us. Check us out what we've done in the past and then you know click like click like and follow us we don't uh, subscribe 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 so <laughs> until next time oh yeah and I'm, I'm again we're very happy about our urban blue shirts uh maybe one day we'll sell some to y'all uh until next time this is urban blue signing off we're exploring what's good sip by sip, sip. Bye. bye we can't even cheers laura Okay. All right, Snoop. Mm. <laughs> Bye. Bye.